Hi there, boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about line plots. Our I can statement for today is I can make a line plot to display data sets of measurements in fractions and use fraction operations to solve problems involving information presented in line plots. So a line plot can be used to display data related to measurements, including those with fractions. And we see the little girl is holding an X right here. That's important because in our line plots, we use X's to display our data that we have um, to show. So if we look here, we have an example of a blank line plot. It's already labeled for us. It has a title, heights of students and feet. It's important that they have titles, so that way we know the data that we're looking at. And it's broken down into um, fourths. We have four and one fourth, four and one half, four and three fourths, five and five and one fourth. So the students in Ms. Johnson's class measured their heights to the nearest one fourth of a foot. They organized the data using a tally chart. Use the tally chart to create a line plot. So we can look over here at this nice neat tally chart to help us figure out how to set up this line plot. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at four and a half, four and one fourth feet. We see there are four tally marks. So we're going to come over here to four and one fourth, and we are going to draw four X's, one for each student, to represent that data. So there's our four students. Next, we have four and a half, which has a total of six students. So we have to make sure we include six X's to represent those six students. And next we have four and three fourths. And if we look at our data, we have five students. Next we have five feet and we have four students who measured five feet. And last we have five and one fourth with a total of three students. So there's our line plot showing the heights of students in feet. So this line plot is going to show the number of books students read in a month. Hannah and her classmates track the number of books they read each, um, they each read last month to the nearest half a book. They organize the data using a tally chart, use the tally chart to create the line plot, then solve the problems that follow. So we can see in the tally chart we have the number of books read, and then the number of students that read each of those books. Our line plot is titled number of books students read in a month and it's broken down into halves. So we have eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, and ten. So again when we look at our um, tally chart we start with eight books read and we have three students that read eight books. So we're going to include three x's to represent those three students and then eight and a half we had five students And then nine books were read by six students. Nine and a half has four students. And then 10 had a total of three students. So we can use this information to answer questions about the data also. So if we look at the next page, we have, they wanna know how many students read eight and a half books and how many books did they read altogether? So if we go back and look at our line plot, we wanna focus right here at eight and a half because that's eight and a half books. And if we look, we have one, two, three, four, five students read eight and a half books. So if we go back to our question, how many students read eight and a half books? We counted five students. And then it asks, how many books did they read all together? Well, we know that there were five students and we know that each student read eight and a half books. So how could we figure out the total number of books for all five students? Well, yes, we're gonna use multiplication so we can take the number of books that each student read, eight and a half, and we're gonna multiply it by 
five. So we're taking a mixed number and multiplying it by a whole number. So the first thing we're gonna need to do though is take this mixed number and turn it into an improper fraction. So we know that two times eight is 16, plus one gives us 17 halves. And then I'm gonna write five as a fraction, so I'm just gonna put it over one, five over one, and now we can solve. So we're going to multiply 17 times five first. Well, I know that seven times five is 35. And I know that five times one is five plus three is 85. So that gives us 85 for our numerator. And then two times one is two. And now we need to figure out how many groups of two we can make in 85. Well, I know that two will divide into 85 42 times. And there will be one left over. So total, the five students read 42 and a half books all together. So there's lots of information that we can learn from these line plots. So here we were able to multiply, we could um, add and subtract, we could um, you know, figure out how much greater one amount is than another. So you know, we're still using all of those different operations that we have already learned how to do with our line plots. So good luck with your line plots, guys. I'm going to stop.